hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today in this video i'll be showing you guys how to manipulate that to create pleated neckline using the slash and spread method if this is your first time here on this channel you are welcome this is don larry and here on this channel i share pattern drafting and sewing tutorials so make sure you subscribe and also remember to put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified so guys let's get started to get started you're going to be needing your half bodies pattern just like i have here and as you can see on this half bodies i have the waist dart and the bust dart before you can manipulate that you are going to be needing two basic dart on the bodies so waist dart bust dart or waist dart a mid shoulder dart so wherever you want it you can close this dart and transfer it here and basically that can be manipulated around the bodies you can have that mid shoulder you can manipulate that to the mid armhole to the mid neckline basically you can rotate that around the body to create any design that you want you can use that to add fullness to the bodies you know you can just play around with that to create something wholesome so in this tutorial we're going to be moving that to the neckline to create the pleated neckline so the first thing we're going to be doing is to close the waist dart and move it to the bust dart using the slash and spread method. So I'm going to slash this one of this uh, line here. So you're going to slash it and slash it very, very close to the bust point like this. So you're also going to slash this line. So you slash it very close to the bust point, but not true to the bust point. Just like that. And then we're going to close this dart. So you do it this way. This is how to close the dart. So that's the first thing you're going to be doing. So you close it like this. Like that. So this is one design if you want all of your dart to be at the side this is one design so you can just close the waist that and move everything uh, to the bust to the side that so like this so once you've closed the waist that and you've moved it to the bust that the next thing you want to do is to draw some slash lines so and we're going to be doing that on the neckline so you can measure like one inch from the center front remember this is our center front so this is the center front so you mark one inch or one and a half inch depending on the pleat or the design you you are making so you mark that and then whatever you mark then you mark it again because we're going to be drawing three slash lines on this pattern and then we draw another one we mark another one like this so now we have three mark around the neckline so this will serve as a guide for you and once you've marked that the first line you're going to be drawing that straight to the bust point so this is the bust point or the apex of the of the bust here and then we're going to draw one slash line true to that bust point like this and then you're going to draw the second slash line so you can mark just to serve as a guide for you if you mark one and a half inch here you can mark two inches here and then whatever you mark from here to here the, the same distance is what you will mark here and also on this line we are going to be marking three lines one this is one at the apex of the bust two three and remember we have one two three here and then you're going to draw another slash line like this and another slash line like this so now we have three slash lines on our bodies and then we're going to be slashing this line open one two three And this one going to the bust point, you will slash through and not cutting through. <laughs> you slash very close to the bust point, but you are not going to cut through. So like that. 
So now we've slashed uh, the lines open and the next thing we want to do is to spread of course. But before you can spread that you will need to close this dart. So we're going to close this dart like this. Can you see that? So you close this dart. like that so you're going to take another pattern paper and then you're going to spread this evenly so like this like this and then you will use your tape to tape it down so I'm going to start from the center front so I will keep the center front straight like this So once you've taped it down like this, so I will start from the armhole area. I'm going to shape the, the, the pattern paper underneath. So once you've trimmed the pattern paper, the one underneath, and then we're going to uh, create a pleat. So we're going to close this and return it back to its normal shape like this. So now we've returned this to the normal shape and then you're just going to shape the, the the neckline and trim it off then we trim it off so once you've trimmed off the neckline this is what you will have can you see what we have here and then you place some notches here 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 and here so that will serve as a guide for you when you want to sew it and then you transfer the same notches to the fabric so and when you want to sew it now you sew it like this like this like this like this so when you want to sew it this is what it will look like so can you see that so you can either sew this inside or pleat it outside depending on the design you want to make so if you want to sew it inside on the fabric all you need to do is just to fold it and to the wrong side you're going to you know see the, let's assume this is the wrong side you're going to uh, sew it like this so you pick the fabric and then you sew it like this and then you pick the second one you sew it inside you pick the third one and you sew it inside so this is what the front will look like if you decided to sew it inside so this is what you will have at the front but if you decided to pleat it outside so this is what it will look at the front so you pleat it like this like this And like this so can you see the, the difference between the two so this is what it will look like outside if you decided to split it outside so guys uh, we've come to the end of today's tutorial I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if yes don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave your comment down in the comment section and if you have any questions kindly ask in the comment section and don't forget to share this video with your friends and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so until i see you guys in another tutorial do have a wonderful day bye